Darwin Nunez might be the best player of all time. Maradona was overrated. And Liverpool is a good team. <laughs> Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about football's most unpopular opinions. I will be giving out my own opinions. And then I'm going to look at some of you guys' unpopular opinions. Let's not waste any time and let's get straight into this. Bale had a better career than Neymar Jr. Now hear me out! And no, I'm not saying that because he literally destroyed Liverpool in a Champions League final, scoring a beautiful bicycle kick. Maybe a part of the reason why Neymar ran away to the Farmers League, which is not even top 5 leagues in the world right now. Bale stayed at Real Madrid and dominated Europe. Now I understand, Neymar had a weaker team than Bale did. That's a good point at all, but who do you blame but yourself, Neymar? Why did you leave Barcelona? Neymar has one Champions League. Bale has five Champions Leagues. Looking at Neymar's achievements, he literally have less titles in every single category. And the French Champion League winners is not counted here. Because French League is not a real league. And then bunch of BS titles. Brazilian Cup, Confederation Cup. You know, talk about what if Ronaldo stayed at Madrid and never left the Juventus. Man, we should talk about what if Neymar stayed at Barcelona? I mean, they still wouldn't have won a single Champions League. But you could have won a shit ton of titles. You would have had a better career. You would have overtaken Ronaldinho. Bale won an English League Cup with Spurs. This guy won a trophy with Spurs. Why did we not give him a ballon? You know what? Bale is better than Neymar. Another unpopular opinion. Di Maria is the best Argentinian player of our generation. Let me explain. If you see every final that Argentina has played in without Di Maria, they have lost every single one of them. We had the World Cup 2014. In the final, he was injured and Argentina lost the match. Argentina versus Chile. Copa America final, where Messi missed that penalty. Di Maria was not playing and Argentina lost the final match. We move on to the first final that Di Maria played at, which was the Copa America, I believe, two years ago. And they won the game against Brazil, scoring the only crucial goal of the whole game. Look at this. Beautiful chip. And the second final Di Maria played in was the World Cup 2022. And guess what? Argentina won the World Cup. He was involved in Argentina's first penalty goal. Basically, he won the penalty, as you can see right here, which gave Argentina the first goal. And right after, he scored the second goal for Argentina to take the 2-0 lead. Di Maria is one of the most underrated players of our generation. Lionel Messi is the best player from Argentina, but Di Maria is the best player for Argentina. Think about that. Unpopular opinion. Compare players in the era you lived in. We cannot say shit about the Pele and Maradona era because we weren't even alive that time. Like some of you guys, you're 10 years old and all you say, oh, Ronaldo Messi is way better than Pele and Maradona. How do you know? Swear to God, they're born in 2010 and they're talking about football heritage. Mate, you're like Manchester City. You were discovered 2010. They're the same type of people who say, oh, Zaydan is best midfielder in the world. You were born in 2006. What did you see from Zaydan? Well, not here, obviously, but... And they say, oh, no, but we have YouTube. What can you tell from YouTube? You search YouTube Zaydan, and they'll show you the top 10 best moments of his whole career. Even if you write Harry Maguire best moments, you'll get his best moments. So what, he's the best defender of all time? He is, but you were born in the Modric, Iniesta, Javi era. So please, talk about that era, not the era before that. Pirlo and Zaydan might have been the best midfielders of all time. No, we don't know. My last unpopular opinion. The Premier League is not the best league in the world. Because I would argue that Real Madrid alone is bigger than... Probably the whole Premier League table. Real Madrid destroyed Liverpool. Destroyed Manchester City. Hell, screw it. Even Manchester United haven't won a single game against Barcelona. If you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. The Premier League is the most fun league to watch. But is it the best? No. And now we move into some of you guys' 
unpopular opinions that you said on my Instagram. Vinny Jr. is better than Rashford and Saka. Now, this is a really tough one. Vinny Jr. better than Rashford and Saka? I would not say that. I would say he would come third in that category. Rashford being first, Saka being second, and Vinny Jr. being third. McVoyer is better than Moldini. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's an unpopular opinion. That's a very popular opinion. Obviously, McVoyer is better than Maldini. Modric is better than Iniesta. Absolutely agreed. You know, last game alone against Liverpool was enough for me to know that Modric is probably the best midfielder of all time because I did not see Zidane, okay? Like at the age of 37 and he's moving like a 27-year-old. Iniesta never did that. But he scored a crucial goal in the World Cup. Come get out of here. Modric took Curvotio to the World Cup final. Career voice, he overtook Iniesta. Stat voice, he overtook Iniesta. And hair voice, he overtook Iniesta. Find me a voice coach. Okay, this has nothing to do with football or anything. Declan Rice is the best footballer of all time. Declan Rice is the most overrated footballer in the world. That guy for 150 million playing for West Ham in Conference League which showed absolutely nothing in the World Cup. The only reason he's 150 million is because he's English. Liverpool sucks. I mean, again, that's not an unpopular opinion. That's very popular. Come on. Chelsea are winning the league next season. Of course they are. The EFL Championship League. But jokes aside, they have really good players. I think the manager needs to be kicked out as soon as possible because that guy will not win anything. Napoli will win Champions League. I'm tired of seeing Real Madrid win every single year. Like this guy, he's from Georgia. No one even knows how to spell his name. But this guy's probably the best player in the world right now. And no one's even talking about it. He's probably up there with Vinny Jr., Rashford, and Saka. I would argue that. Napoli, do the job. Bring it home. Win your first Champions League. And make everyone proud. Salo was a point. Okay, that's just racist. <laughs> and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if I should do more of these. Maybe other categories other than football. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Share this video. And gracias, amigos.